Hello Sagittarius, welcome back to Fifi's Tarot Readings. I hope you are all doing amazing. For those that are new to my channel, a very warm welcome and cross watchers, you are definitely welcome to here as well. Now Sagittarius, because this is a general love reading, bear in mind that the roles can always be reversed, right? They can always be flipped. So in saying that, only take what resonates. Um, well, what I'm already confirming that you know to be part of your story or what your intuition is telling you. Um, about what's happening in your heart space right now, Sagittarius. And whatever does not resonate, just toss it to the side. Um, you definitely don't need it. If you know it's definitely not part of your story, it does not um, apply to, in other words. So Sagittarius, in saying that, let's get started. I do want to explore your heart space, in particularly for the next three months. You know, I always say a lot can happen in a week. So much can happen in a month. Let's see what can happen in three months. So for my lovely Sagittarius, let's see if there is someone particularly that you are thinking about. If you know they're taking residence in your heart space, what's going on? Please let's see what changes or is there any heads up that you should know um, for the next three months? Bear in mind, it could also happen within a month. It could happen within two months. Let's see. All right. For Sagittarius, please. The most free spirited star sign. Here we go. So, what is underneath your deck? We have, ooh, we have your energy. We have the Ten of Wands. Uh, you could be dealing here with a fellow Sagittarius. I'm going to say easy does it, and I know it's very well. It's very easy for me to sit here and say that. But um, there is a stress here. Perhaps you are stressing over a connection of a particular person, um, especially if it didn't actually end on a very positive note. This is the card of burden. So maybe Sagittarius, you are taking way too much on in your life. You know, it could be multiple jobs, multiple projects, tasks, um, and really trying to balance everything. I mean, it's become a bit of a burden for you. This is also about physical exhaustion as well. So, you know, there's nothing wrong with you, Sagittarius. I just feel like you're taking way too much on here. Um, just, you know, managing your life, but also other people's um, lives as well, though. This could literally be someone stressing over you too. So let me see, what else do we have? We have judgment. Major arcana there for Scorpio. It could also be for Libra, for me as a reader. It really seems here, and I'm kind of already painting a picture here, Someone is stressing here about asking you for a second chance. The judgment is the card of epiphanies, um, of resurrection, you know, realizations, bringing something back to life. Um, it always reminds me of the phoenix when it rises from the ashes because the judgment here is saying, you know, can we bring this back to life, please? Um, will you give me one more chance? So if someone is stressing over you about saying, can we have, you know, can I have a second chance? Um, particularly though, because they're stressing the fact that I think you're doing very well. If you're 100% single here, obviously if you consider yourself single, um, yeah, you may be alone, but you're not lonely. You're focusing on your career, your finances, your studies. It's the kind of luxury here as well. Um, and we also have the butterflies there, as you can see, because symbolism in um, Tarot is always very important. So there is some powerful transformations and changes happening in your professional life as well. Um, and honestly, I think that you're on the right path. Some of you are probably self-employed or thinking of becoming self-employed. There's expansion here as well. Ooh. All right, we've got the Hierophant. Major Arcana there for Taurus. So I'm really getting here that perhaps in the past you were in a committed relationship with this person. It felt very, very solid in commitment. Maybe some of you were actually married also. Um, if there was a third party, we've got the Emperor there. Maybe your person actually was committed to someone else. And yeah, just the way things fell through with that Ten of Wands. Um, honestly, it's... I, didn't, I don't feel that it ended on a positive note, absolutely not. But the Emperor will be taking action towards you, very um, strong sign for Aries there. Um, maybe some of you actually met through work as well. We have that Eight of Pentacles ruled by Virgo. This is someone here that wants to redeem themselves, they want to work hard and prove to you that they're worth a second chance because with that Nine of Cups here, uh, you are their wish fulfillment. Hmm, very interesting here. All right. Let's see, what else do we have? We have the Queen of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Someone is in their feelings about you. Someone is really, really in love with you. I don't feel, you know, we've got the Queen of Cups looking to the future here. So there is a lot of emotions here for you. 
Oh, I see at the moment, perhaps I'll just move that to the side. There we are. I'm really seeing here at the moment that yeah, you're definitely focusing on yourself. Um, you're, like I said, in your professional life, but also you, now you know about you know self-respect, self-value, putting yourself first here. Um, you're highly intuitive also at this time. Perhaps you're actually feeling your person's energy, um, that there is love here for you. Um, and that this is the thing, the person is highly anxious here, even about approaching you. I mean, male or female does not matter. You're coming across as the beautiful nurturer, the loving person here as the Queen of Cups, though. Three of Wands. Uh, this is ruled by Aries. Some of you could be in a long distance connection as well. Um, but it's almost like they're waiting for that right moment. And I feel like that's what's stressing them out is that they're starting to realize there is no perfect moment. It's now or never. Um, so they're kind of like waiting for a sign. They're waiting for the ship to come in to say, okay, now go and approach Sagittarius before it's too late. But it seems like there's never the right time. Um, so I think they're getting that push now. It's like, it's now or never. What else? King of Swords. Uh, ruled by Aquarius, could also be a Gemini and a Libra. So I don't know, how are you viewing this person? Because sometimes the King of Swords is someone that's very rational. They think about only logic, facts and all that. Sometimes they can remove emotion. Perhaps something that happened here, whatever falling out you had, and I will be clarifying these cards, Sagittarius, um, they may have done something a little bit cold. You may view this person as a bit cold. But what I do like is that they're looking to the past about their past actions, past words that were expressed to you, and they do want to say something to you. You know, the king and the queen of swords, they approach you now to get something off their chest, but they're coming with truth. You know, nothing but the truth. So let's see. The two of pentacles, ruled by Capricorn. Hmm. Oh, I feel like you're very busy here, uh, Sagittarius. This is kind of like when you're doing that ba balancing act here with your life. Um, friends, social life, you know, and now it's like balancing this person. So it's, I kind of feel here once this person has reached out, the ball absolutely will be in your court. The two of pentacles is always about, you know, weighing up the pros and cons, weighing up your options with this person, but ultimately making a decision in regards to them as well. So I think this is probably why they're very stressed is they know that uh, you can actually keep this going or you're the one that can end this once and for all. So mm, what is the beating heart of your reading, Sagittarius? We have the Seven of Cups here. This is ruled by Scorpio. So it's a bit of emotional confusion as well. I feel that you may take your time in actually responding to this person or making a final decision. It's almost like, you know, one day it's like, yes, I, you know, let me be friends with this person or at least open up lines of communication. Another day it's like, no, no, no there's too much damage. I really don't want to. So this is kind of when we need to kind of ground ourselves and make a decision. So I feel like that's probably, I wouldn't say it's a block, perhaps it's a challenge here, Sagittarius, that you need to make a final solid decision and back yourself up um, as well. Um, so some of the issues as well could have been that whatever happened in the past, perhaps you were made to feel like an option by this person. Because this is the beating heart of your reading and it does affect all the other cards though. But let's continue. We have the Nine of Wands, more Sagittarius energy. This is the wounded warrior and the wounded warrior does not give up. They're seeing the finish line. It's very far away and the finish line is to contact you. They're not giving up though. I do feel here perhaps you Sagittarius or your person are feeling quite defeated, quite deflated by this situation, how it panned out, how it ended, the fact that probably you're not even talking to um, this person and maybe a good few months or even a few short years have passed and it's like, oh, why now? So it's almost like you're questioning it. Like, oh, why, why now? Let me just hold back. So yes, you know, your your barriers are very tight. Your walls could be all the way up here. Um, and I feel like they do want to come correctly. I'm not getting any like, you know, malicious or um, there's a, a different reason why they're coming back to hurt you or to take anything from you. I just feel like you're just questioning why now though, after everything that happened, which is fair enough. Yes, we have the Six of Pentacles. That's ruled by Taurus. So I'm wondering here if perhaps were you married to each other or was your person married here to someone else? Um, often this happens when perhaps your person was giving too much attention to someone else or something in the past. Um, and what happened was, you know, the, the, the scales of this connection were completely out of whack here. I do see here, perhaps you or your person are working very hard to pay off any loans, any debts here. Um, there's a lot of money that is coming your way, absolutely. But I do see here a person, they may be financially responsible here now for someone else. Um, and all of that comes into, you know, your this entire equation of should I let this person in? Do they have too much baggage in the sense? 
Um, so they could be, you know, responsible for child support, spousal support here as well. Um, there could have been a divorce also happening here um, with your person. We have the Eight of Wands, more Sagittarius energy. So you will definitely be on the rec receiving end of a lot of messages here. Um, this could also be messages from abroad if your person is um, far away from you. Now, remember, they could also be interstate or even a couple of hours drive. Um, but this is known as Cupid's arrow, love messages. And I do feel here that eventually you will be responding because this is back and forth communication. Usually it does bear very good news as well. Absolutely. Ooh, how do we end this? With the Knight of Wands, the traveling knight. This person is determined to come to you. I do feel that after this conversation back and forth, or it could be like a phone call, email, text messages, FaceTime, whatever it is, I feel that this traveling knight is prepared to come and see you though. Um, and this sometimes can show that your person can be quite impulsive. Like, yes, I got the green light from Sagittarius. I'm going to go and see them now. Um, so um, that could also be a bit, you know, a bit impulsive here, a bit of a hothead as well. It's only because whatever they believe in, whatever they love, um, they're very passionate about it, which happens to be you. But in saying that, uh, Sagittarius, I do want to clarify these cards. Let me see. Ooh, see how so much can happen within three months. So there's, um, there's just a bit of hesitation on your part. I just feel like you want to trade carefully, get all the information as to, well, why are they here now? Why not 10 months ago, for example, 10 weeks ago, 10 days ago? <laughs> Let's see. You've got every right to question this. I mean, I will. I would be questioning that as well. So we've got a highlighted message that came out. Got another one. Let's see. Before I see the bottom of this deck to confirm and go deeper in these messages, what do we have? Before this gets messy. First one, we've got the hanged man. Major Arcana for Pisces. This is a card of perspective. Your person looking at this from all different angles here. It's almost like they've been delaying this, approaching you uh, on purpose, because they've been planning here as well um, about what to say to you, what to offer you here as well. Oh, wow, look at this. You've got the Four of Wands and the Two of Cups, Strong Aries and Cancer Energy. This is my Twin Flame card, Soulmate card here as well. It's also my Marriage card as well. So, um, <clears throat> Sagittarius, I'm wondering if it's you or your person. This is change of um, jobs here, complete even changing industries, being offered a job. It's also changing address. So either you or your person here are actually probably renting a new place, purchasing a new house. This is happy celebration here as well. Um, and like I said, it is my marriage card. It's all commitment, deep, deep commitment. And that two of cups, it, with, and you know, it's actually known as a true card of love, just like the Ace of Cups. It's a union of two souls when you start mirroring each other as well and not giving up on this connection, though. Quite interesting, though. At the bottom of the deck, we have more Cancer Energy. We have got the Four of Cups. So your person at the moment is feeling quite sad, quite despondent, um, depressed here. They could be very bored with their life about the mundane, you know, the routine and all that, um, because you're not there. You add excitement, spontaneity. I hear you say spontaneity. I can't even say that word. You're quite spontaneous, in other words. Um, so what they're kind of really just crying over is that perhaps this is it. Is this a missed opportunity? We've got the King of Pentacles, very strong Taurus energy. Could also be a Virgo um, and a Capricorn. Yeah, we've got someone here that really wants to take care of you financially, but what they're seeking now with you is, well, very strong commitment, if not marriage. And yeah, we've got that Knight of Pentacles, very strong Virgo energy right there. Um, and yes, that could also be a Taurus and a Capricorn. They want to offer you something. I feel like it's been some time, quite a long time since you've actually spoken to your person, definitely more than a year, perhaps even two years. But yeah, honestly, I just kind of feel here that, um, yeah, you got that Eight of Pentacles twice. And you also got it there. So I do feel that you are curious, perhaps, about working um, with this person, kind of like meeting in the middle because, I'm, you know, they've got the Eight of Pentacles, you've got the Eight of Pentacles again, and that Two of Cups shows when you start mirroring each other. So let's clarify that Queen of Cups is the Nine of Wands again. Look at that, you got it twice. I feel like, yeah, you're definitely quite defensive at the moment. Your boundaries, your barriers, your world is very, very tight. You are very, uh, well, you could say that you're apprehensive here. You're on guard, but you're very vigilant here as well. Um, just very selective about who you let back into your circle, allow back into your life here as well. 
I really feel that these are both mirroring each other. We're getting a lot of the same cards from different decks. So it's like, yes, you're feeling quite defensive here, a little bit apprehensive. Your person actually knows that as well. So they may have to break down some walls here um, of trust. That's the thing. So clarifying the three of wands here is the ace of wands. This is having a passionate new start with you. Wow. What I love about all the, I mean, I love all aces, but particularly the ace of one says that this can be particularly very successful here as well. And as much as you probably want this, you know, it's almost like, I feel like you still want to tread quite slowly here as well. It's like, I think you're a little bit apprehensive, but very curious as to why they're coming back now though. I just feel like they've plucked up their courage and their strength. They've moved quite slowly here as well. Clarifying the King of Swords is the death card. Yeah, something has ended in your person's life. That's Major Arcana for Scorpio, by the way. Um, it's about transition from an ending to a beginning here. So if there was a third party, um, now this literally could be infidelity. This could be if your person was in a committed relationship, if they were married here, maybe there was someone that was interfering, like mother, um, mother-in-law, a father, friend, whatever it was, you know what it is. Um, it will be different for all of you, but that has actually ended and that's what they'll be communicating with you. Hence why they're coming back now. So it makes a, a bit more sense now, right? So clarifying that two of pentacles is a ten of swords, ruled by Gemini. So I'm really seeing here, because this is a modern witch tower, it's adapted for modern times. We've got the woman lying down and yes, yeah, she's been stabbed here now by ten swords, but she's looking at her mobile phone, her cell phone there. So this is a thing, that's why you're probably in two minds, because you do remember here, perhaps some of you received that one phone call or that one text message that ended everything, and you're feeling quite betrayed by this person. Um, by, you're kind of feeling cheated by them, by the whole situation. I feel like it's almost like what hurts you more is that you trusted them and that it's like you wasted your time with this person. That it's kind of like that's how mentally you're feeling. So there's a bit of frustration and anger towards this person. So it's almost like, oh, do I end this? Do I give them now the Ten of Swords? Or do I, um, you know, approach them with a brand new beginning? So I understand where that emotional confusion is here. It's a bit of a war with your head and your heart here. So clarifying that Seven of Cups is the Page of Wands. Wow. Strong fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. I do see that they will be giving you some quite good news here as well, such as this has ended in my life. This is why it took so long to come back and I'm sorry about this. Can we talk about it? I feel like you're open to talking about it because pages do represent communication, especially it, it is on top of the eight of wands, which is back and forth communication. So I feel like there's an element of you quite, even if it's small, you are curious as to what ended, how it ended, why it ended. Um, and now that they're, they're you know, like a, a free person, they choose to be with you. So clarifying that nine of wands, we have, again, yep, We've got the Eight of Wands twice, different decks, different authors. You're so mirroring each other. Wow, yeah. So they're very stressed here about communicating with you. They will eventually though, because the Eight of Wands is all, of, it's the second fastest moving energy in the entire deck. And it is all about quick changes, fast movement, and it's all directed at you. Hmm, bit of a guilty conscience here. That's what they have as well. So clarifying that Six of Pentacles is the Queen of Pentacles. Yeah, I do feel here that perhaps your person was committed, engaged, or married. There could have been children as well involved. Yeah, because usually the king and the queen of pentacles, they are already committed, or they're already engaged, they're already married, for example. So they could be literally paying off like child support, spousal support here as well. Um, that's why they're probably working extra now, just to make sure they don't have any loans, any debts here. Um, yeah, so... That's brought more of an explanation of what's been happening since they've been missing in action here as well. Mm -hmm. Clarifying that Eight of Wands, we have the Five of Swords, ruled by Aquarius. So, yeah, it's almost like oh, you're not seeing the person in the best of light. You don't hate them, but there's like, I always call it the smudge. You know, <laughs> there's a bit of a smudge on this connection, a little bit of an X saying, oh, okay, this person did this to me. I don't know if I can trust them. I do feel here that your person... I'm not seeing an apology card, but I'm already seeing that it's kind of like along the line saying, I'm sorry that I was very selfish. I was only thinking about myself. So there's a bit of catty energy that happened in the past, um, quite competitive, quite negative here as well. So some of the, the topic of conversation is going to be about their past actions, which is, is it does not look favorable for them as um, at all. So clarifying that Knight of Wands is the devil. 
major arcana there for uh, Capricorn. Uh, so, you know, it is a card of temptation. And the thing is, not always is the Knight of Wands the player. But when you start teaming it up with, you know, the devil, you know, maybe they did have a bit of, you know, player-like energies in the past, a bit overly flirtatious, love getting attention. Perhaps they were tempted by someone or something in the past. Perhaps they were tempted to go back to an ex. Um, or maybe they just were tempted by someone and they got in a committed relationship with them. And now it looks like that's ended here as well. Hence why now I'm starting to see why you feel so betrayed by this person, though. I still feel that you haven't gotten the absolute 100% truth, though. Yeah, we've got the Five of Pentacles, Taurus energy. So there is an element here as well of being um, abandoned by this person, left out in the cold as well. So, hmm, got the King of Wands, that is Leo energy, could also be um, Sagittarius and Aries. Yeah, they did something quite impulsive here. Very impulsive, and now they're regretting it. Yeah, and then we end with the Strength card, Major Arcana for Leo. So... I'd like to get as, as much message as I can for your um, outcome here. Very clearly, they're plucking up their courage and their strength here. And they're going to approach you quite softly because they don't want to trigger you. Um, so it's, it's ooh, yeah, their confidence here has taken a bit of a blow. Let's see. Let's pull three cards from the Romance Angels. I'll just push all these cards up. There we go. Ooh, what's going to happen in three months, isn't it? We have a highlighted message there for you. What do we have? Yeah, this is going to happen very soon. See, so clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now. So, yeah, it's definitely saying that it's going to come sooner rather than later. Confirmation, soulmate. Yes, this is your soulmate. We have true love. This is the romance of a lifetime. Of course, it hasn't been easy. It's been quite complicated. Feelings have been hurt here. Um, but we've got new love. Now, I'm not getting that this is particularly a new person. You may decide if you want to. But I'm also getting kind of Ace of Cups energy because it's already telling you very soon true love is coming back. New love is like um, pretty much like falling in love all over again, if that makes sense. So... And the final card is Reconciliation. Someone from your past is returning. Uh, it's a very clear card reading here, Sagittarius. Um, definitely within three months, uh, I'm just going to say, just out of the blue like that, we've got the Eight of Wands, lots of communication, the judgment, asking for a second chance here. But um, yeah, this does fall on you. Um, if you're not really sure what to do, clearly the cards are just saying, just take your time. There is no need to rush. Just get all your answers. Have that conversation if you want to, and then move on forward from there. Absolutely. Sagittarius, thank you for watching. I do these with a lot of love and enthusiasm. I absolutely love your beautiful, fiery, passionate in, uh, energy. If you did like this um, reading, Sagittarius, um, I'd appreciate if you give it that thumbs up. It may very well reach another Sagittarius that perhaps would like to hear these messages. So until next time, Sagittarius, I will see you soon in a couple of days. Take care. Bye.